I'm a big fan of Zay Spiller. Liked him since his freshman year. I think he's a very smooth running back, good size, moves laterally very well. And on top of that, going into his true junior season this year, he's gotten better. He's gotten quicker. He's more explosive. He runs with a lot more pop off a of step. And he's even more fun to watch. And he's being used more in the passing game. We've seen this in his last few games. And I just see a stock just rising from here. And I was able to find some clips that are harder to find than what you think from his last few games. But we got him, and we're going to run the film. All right, this one's against Colorado. This is the big play that's everyone's seen on social media, the big catch at the end of the game that scored to help Texas A&M win it and um, probably one of the biggest plays of his collegiate career. But here we see him roll out in the flat. We want to do like an out and up here. We lose him, of course. We don't have all 22. You don't get all 22 in college, rarely. And then he gets the target. Gets it pretty quickly. Look at the separation there. What's on him? What's he got on him? A linebacker. He's got a linebacker on him. No match. That linebacker is no match, especially when you're looking in the backfield. And he's wondering if he's going to take off, but you're not going to cover Spiller. Uh, we got a little zone here, so he might be in a little zone and just running with the guy, but here we are. Gets the target. I think it's more man, but here we are. He gets the target. Separation right here. More than even. He's got a good yard, yard and a half, two yards on him. I'm not a mathematician, but he's got separation. He's not catching COVID from this dude. And here we are. Basket catch, easy play to make. And he wins this with overall burst, speed, and janky coverage from the linebacker. Um, he takes advantage of that. If he does not have this burst, this short area quickness, it's not happening. He earns the target right around here. And you tell he's beat right here. You can tell because the way this the linebacker's angled out, he's angled out more this way like he's chasing. So gets the target. Separates him even more from there. Makes the play. And it's good seeing him using the passing game like this, catching balls downfield because from a Debbie fantasy football perspective, or even dynasty, or regular fantasy football, you want running backs and catch the ball. That's what Spiller's doing for you. All right, we got another play here against Colorado. Here Spiller goes out in the flat, catches the ball here. Good hands, gets up field. Look at the dead leg here. Look at the little cut. Look at him drop his hips, regain his speed, causes the defender to miss, reading the momentum. This is what he. This is what they do. When they drop the hips, make the cut. Because they're reading that guy's momentum. Once he's bit so far, especially when his shoulders start to lean in, he knows to make his cut. Bam. And it's smooth. It's smooth and it's tight. It's a very tight cut. He does that. And that allows him to get a few more yards. Not all running backs. I say this. Not all players can do this. Not all players can do this. Because it's true. It's true. Like, not all guys can read the the leverage of the defender that smoothly can make a cut that smooth and make a play like this happen. And I don't know if he was able to do that maybe last year even. Like, you can tell he's getting better in his game. And that is just a damn good play by Spiller. All right, here's another one. He's going to get the handoff here. Up the gut. You can see the blocking here. Blocking's stellar. So here's going to have to read the hat of 74. He's going to have to go outside leverage on that hat. And he's got a little hole there. That's, I think that's where he's going to go through, and that is true. And he reads that perfectly. Good approach to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't hesitate. Sees it and takes it. Now we got a linebacker peeling off. That linebacker diving for a chance and does not happen. Runs by him. Look at him running the circle here. Cuts out. Gets tripped up a little bit and goes down. The money on this play is just his approach to the line of scrimmage. Good hole here. Good hole here. Good crease. Reads it. Hits it right, too. Hits it right. If he went too far to the right, 
he could have risked getting tackled. Could have, but that guy was getting ready to get blocked out of the picture anyways. Hits burst. Hits acceleration pretty quickly because if not, that linebacker peeling off could have caught him. Breaking down here to get by him, this DB out here. DB gets a little shoestring on him and trips him up, and that, that's it on the play. Sold it. Here we're going to get a little bit of pseudo all 22 on this play. So, Spiller's in motion. Gets the handoff. Look at this block. This is what he's seeing. So, we got a good hole here. Initially, what most people would think, go through the hole, swerve it out right. But you got to read the leverage of 74, that block there. Because if you go to the wrong side, then that defensive lineman or the the defender there can get an arm on you or whatever and bring you down or just escape the, the block entirely. So here he reads it. Good anticipation of how the block's going to go. Keeps it tight too. He doesn't round it out or anything. And he's going to run off the ass crack of that defender here to go through the hole. And then this linebacker here peeling off, thinking he's got a chance. No way, Jose, because our boy Spiller's got some burst, son, and he's gone. Here, he tries to break down this DB. Almost gets it. Shoestring. Gets away. But now he's hobbling. And gets tackled. I was struggling trying to find film of Isaiah Spiller from this year. I found some Florida tape. So I'm running it anyways. And this is from last season. And let's go with it. So here he's going to get the carry. Approaches the line of scrimmage. Reads the blocks. Plays ran this way. Reads the blocks really well. Boom, boom. Hats on hats. Defense is doing well getting by as well. And here's where the magic happens. Here, gets low, lowers the boom. Bow. Ricochets off. Good contact balance. Defender goes for a ride. He stays upright. Regains speed. And he's gone. That's it. That is it. Let's watch the boom in real time here. So here we go. Bam. Drops him on his head. And that's it. Isaiah Spiller touchdown. So, good read here from the approach. The approach to the line of scrimmage is one thing you want to look at. You want to see what how things look once he gets to the second level here. What kind of moves is he doing? How is he creating separation? How he's, how he's breaking off these cuts? Is he reading momentum well? And then sometimes you just got to drop the hammer and make the guy the nail. And bam! This is what we did here. And he's gone. Love the physicality. Same play, different angle. Kind of all 22 here. And we're just going to run this one real quick since we've already seen it. Gets the handoff here. You get a good view of what's going on with all the line and the, and the blockers and everything. Pretty blocking here. Pretty blocking. Gets it. 46 derails that defender. And now we're going to see the boom happen. Bam. Right on the head too. Bam. Look at him fertilize. He's just right out. Laid out. And now he's in for the score. We're going to run this normal time. Easy money touchdown. And it's the hit's even more impressive from up here. Farther away, this dude just gets derailed. This guy went night-night. That's the power he runs with, though. He is a power runner. He's got some finesse. He's got some burst. He, this is from last year. He's a little quicker now. He's a little bit faster now. And he looks a lot smoother now. I love Isaiah Spiller. One of the best running backs in college football. Underrated. Kind of. Kind of not. Depending on who you talk to. But Isaiah Spiller's gotten better. You're going to see this throughout the year. And I guarantee you're going to come away impressed if you haven't seen him yet. But I want to thank you for watching the show. Sticking with me. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription fuels me to do all this content for you. The film studies, the fantasy shows, and everything else. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.